In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to build the best theme team in Madden Ultimate Team in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to stay up to date on the latest strategies and the tips and the tactics that we release every single day here on the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. I also want to encourage you to go ahead and turn on your notifications. That way you'll never miss one of these uploads. All right, guys, so I wanted to share with you the best theme team in Madden Ultimate Team. Um, and I've been messing around with Mutt, kind of preparing a little bit for Weekend League. I didn't realize how honestly out of date uh, my team was. So I had to make some moves, some roster adjustments. And so I wanted to share with you, I've actually, been, I was running a Raiders theme team. So I was running a, a 25 out of 50 Raiders theme team and a 25 out of 50 Washington football team theme team. Uh, and the reason that you want to run a theme team and what is a theme team basically a theme team is essentially um, where Mutt gives these players uh, for example like Brett Favre gets the Packers theme team the reason he gets the Packers theme team is because uh, he played on the Packers obviously but he gets a theme team for a, for most of the teams that he played on as you can see here he gets a Jets theme team he gets a Falcons theme team and he gets a Vikings theme team the reason I'm bringing this up is because based on how many people you get on your theme team, if you look over here on the right, you're going to see that like for the, you, you get different tiers. So for example, on the Packers, I only have one out of five for Green Bay Packers. And so because of that, I only get a, I'm a tier one Green Bay Packer uh, theme team. Whereas for the Raiders, you see here that I get six out of 50, which is tier one. So I get plus one strength. For every tier that you go up, you get plus one of different attributes. So as you can see here, tier two, I get plus one jumpy, jumping. Tier three, I get plus one agility. As you can see, it says underneath it requires 15 players. So for every five players, you go up a tier. Um, for example, tier four requires 20 players and you get plus one acceleration and plus one carry. Uh, tier five plus one speed and that's the important the most important thing as you can see right there if I get them to tier five Then every player that is a Raiders player will get a, a plus one speed Okay, so the reason that a theme team matters is because it can help you increase the attributes for players who are on that theme team Okay, so my recommendation right now is to run a 49ers theme team a 50 out of 50 49ers theme team so as you see right here i am running a 50 out of 50 san francisco 49ers theme team as you can see it shows that i have tiers one through ten are all active as you can see on there i have plus two strength plus two agility plus two speed and plus two change of direction and plus two acceleration the reason that that matters is it's going to make the players play a lot faster so uh, i'm going to show you an example here and you're gonna take a look at the uh, at my tight end here, Vernon Davis. Uh, and so if you notice anything about Vernon Davis, if I go to the upgrade feature, if you look at his attributes, if I, if I move over here to his attributes, you're gonna see that normally, if you look right here, normally his attribute is he has a 94 speed. That's his, that's his speed rating, okay? Now, if you come back over here to the attributes, you see that his speed has actually been upgraded because I have Sprinter on him and I also have the 49er theme team. And so the combination of those two boosts gives him plus four speed. So now a 94 speed tight end is actually gonna be a 98 speed tight end. And therein lies the whole purpose of building a theme team. Now you might be asking the question as I did when I first got into this, how do I actually go about building a 49er theme team? Well, basically what you wanna do is you wanna put players on your team that have that 49ers theme team chemistry that might never ever play in an actual game of Mutt for you. So for example, your Jordan Reed, very rarely will I ever play him, but as you can see, he has that 49er theme team um, on that little on that little icon right next to his, uh, right next to the picture of him and on, on his player card. The same thing for a player like Tom Compton. As you can see, this Tom Compton, if you look really closely, he has a 49er theme team chemistry. And so you want to go to mutthead.com and you can actually look up, you know, all the players that you need uh, for, for these theme teams and make it actually really, really easy on you. But that's a very simple way to make your players play better. Now, there are some players 
and it is a little bit depending on the player there are some players like this Dak Prescott for example that get all of the theme teams um, in the free agency promo that they ran basically if you get this free agency card they're gonna be able to get all of the different theme teams as you can see here I can put any theme team on Dak Prescott because of his card there are a few cards in the game like that cards like Dak Prescott cards like Sam Mills or Andre Johnson that you might have uh, also Barry Sanders is another example of that that you can put the 49er chemistry on now the one thing I do want to hit on just really really briefly is if they don't fit the theme team so for example I'm going to use everybody's favorite user right now in the community um, and that is Derwin James if they don't fit the theme team they do not get the boost of the theme team okay so because he's a charger he doesn't have 49er theme team you see here that if you look at the top left corner here it says he gets plus two speed not plus four speed like vernon davis okay so that's actually really really important to know so players on your team that are not 49ers will not get that 49er boost another example of that um would be for a, a, another example of that would be like a eric berry okay Eric Berry does not get that 49er chemistry boost. Uh, he just gets a Chiefs theme team. So because of that, as you can see right here, if I look at his attributes, obviously he has 99 speed because we get plus two on him for sprinter, but he doesn't, he wouldn't get any more than that if he was on a theme team. So those are just some things that you really need to be aware of, in my opinion, as you're going throughout this process. You want to put players on your team in my opinion, you want to be putting players on your team, especially in your bench, that have that 49er chemistry. You see there's a lot of players on here. For example, this Arik Armstead. He's 84 overall to where I have him. I'm not going to put him on the field hardly ever, but because he gets the 49er theme team. Another quick trick for how to do this would also be to use multiple players at multiple positions. So as you can see right here, you see that I have my kickoff starter is Robbie Gold, uh, whereas my kicker number one is David Akers, okay? The reason that that matters is there's two different kickers. They count for two players for the 49er theme team. Another thing that you can do, and I'm not exactly sure if I can do this or not, but I'm pretty sure that I can, is you can actually hide players um, in certain situations. So for example, if I jumped in here and I put somebody on the special teams, like for example, if I put, let's say, oh, let's say, let's say I put any of these guys here in, in that punt return role, um, you know, for example, like if I put Henry Ruggs on as a, as a punt returner, you get a maximum of 55 players, so I can't put him in here. But if I were to put him in there, um, he would count toward a theme. He would, he would probably be able to count uh, toward that Raider theme team. So you can hide what the reason that matters is because you can basically put players that you would never play. You could put them in at punt returner, um, you know, or that you could even put them in at these rush, these positions right here, which you can RB sub all of them out. Um, you'll look here, if you look right here, you're gonna notice that um, that's kind of what I did in this situation. So anyways, that is a little bit about the theme team and the best theme team right now. In my opinion, the best theme team and the best chemistries for you to be utilizing are the go deep chemistry, um, the lockdown chemistry for defense. In my opinion, it's just gonna get better man coverage, better zone coverage. And then the Niners theme team, and then I would obviously recommend you using uh, the Sprinter chemistry. Okay, now uh, before too long, we're we're gonna probably take Sprinter off of all of our guys. We're gonna move that and change that over to one of the other abilities that might give us better agility or something like that. But for right now, this is the best chemistries to run and the best theme team in Madden 21. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys don't know, I have a text message membership where basically I release a free offensive or defensive scheme every single week to people, to only to the people who have texted in. And so if you wanna get that uh, playlist sent to you every single week, my cell phone number is 208-218-6900. And all you have to do to automatically get those is to just send the word Madden to my cell phone number, which again is 208-218-6900. Um, and it should automatically send you that playlist. 
Now, if you if you just have a Madden question, a general Madden question, you want to connect with me, then just send me your question. If you don't worry, if you don't care about the playlist, but every single week, I think right now we're sitting, we have 15 videos. We're gonna have 16 on Saturday. Every single Saturday, we're releasing um, either a new offense or a new defense for you to use. So we've we've covered everything from three three five wide to bunch to U trips to trips tied in to uh, single back trio gun cluster, all kinds of schemes in there for you to be able to effectively um, get better on both the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball so if you want to get those complete schemes all you have to do is send a message to my new cell phone number which is 208-218-6900 it's in the top left hand corner of every video that i do and just send the word madden and i should automatically respond with that with that playlist for you and again if you just have a general madden question just hit me up i'd love to be able to talk some madden with you guys thanks for your time i really appreciate it and again if you have any questions or if you want to get that full playlist just shoot me a text message uh right now thanks guys